What's going on guys? Welcome to Fearless. I'm Anthony. If you're new to the channel, what our channel is, is we are a men's dating company. We teach men to be more confident with women. It starts off with dating and women, but it also expands to having a life that you want by using these principles. And I'm gonna live an example of it. I'm going through the workshops with this company and I couldn't tell you how much more satisfied with my life I am now than when I was before I started. With that said, today we're gonna be talking about belief systems and how when you shift your belief system, you actually start to get what you want. A lot of us have poor belief systems and that's the one thing that's really stopping us from going for what we want. It's the one thing that's stopping us from getting the help that we need because a lot of us don't believe that we can have what we want. In fact, a lot of us won't even look at what it is that we want because it's so scary to look at. So we're gonna jump into the topic, but just before that, we need you guys' help. We're trying to work with the AI and the algorithm to get our videos in front of more guys who actually need help. We're trying to get the videos in front of guys who may have been suffering from nice guys syndrome for a very long time. They're not getting the dating lives they want but also the guys who may just be fresh out of a relationship, who don't know how to approach the dating scene, guys who may have gotten their heart broken, guys who are just really not content with where they are and they know they can be doing better. Now, we wanna get those videos in front of those guys because we know that this is a very pivotal point in their lives and if they do it correctly, they can really have an abundance of women in their lives. Not just abundance of women, but abundance of women that they actually want to be associated with not just whatever comes low hanging fruit. So the way to do that is to hit like and subscribe. We hit like to get the videos in front of new guys who haven't seen the material, but also we hit subscribe so that you guys get updates and the new information so that you guys can take it out, implement it right away and start having results with the information. Because again, I remember what that was like for me coming into this journey of being like, okay, there's girls who are interested in me. I'm not interested in those girls. I want these kind of girls and I'm having trouble getting them. I don't know how to get them. They don't seem to like me. And again, after doing this work, I realized that, oh, this not that they didn't like me. It's just that my behavior was pushing them away. I was doing things to push them away. I wasn't letting them in. And the more I got solid in my ability to connect, all of a sudden these girls that I never thought I had any business having any dealings with started to come out of the woodworks. And I was like, what the hell? So again, I wanna extend this to guys who are having that pivotal moment in their lives where they don't think it's possible to actually show them that they can actually have what's on the other side of their disbelief. So anyways, guys, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and so we can continue to get the updates and get these videos in front of new guys. But also, stay to the end of the video because I have something that might be of value to you. Back to the video. Belief systems. Why? Because the minute you change your belief system around what it is that you want, your dating life, for instance, you start to actually get the thing that you want. Not in a woohoo way, but you really start to get it in a very physical way. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So I noticed that when we we're on a call with clients and we're trying to figure out what it is they want, a lot of guys have a hard time admitting what it is that they actually want. Or they get very vague and ambiguous about what they want. Like they can't just tell you that they want to have more sex. They want to date a girl who's a stunner. They want to date a 10 out of 10. They can't just tell you that straight on sometimes because they're very in denial about it. And it kind of reminds me of a time in my life where I also felt that way because there was a specific type of girl that I liked a lot. And I was very much in denial about admitting to myself that I wanted this type of girl because I felt like I didn't meet the requirements for a girl like that. Financially, I didn't have power, I didn't have status. I wasn't six foot five, I'm five nine by the way. I wasn't the guy that I saw these girls with, but I remember as I was learning how to get better at approaching, I would go out every day and I would see these girls out and I would specifically avoid them because they were way too high on the attention scale for me. These are like my tens, my nines that I'm talking about, right? And so I thought I had no business talking to girls like this and it would hurt a little bit more when I got rejected because I had such an emotional tie to these girls. It wasn't until I would get better at approaching, because I was going out and I was just approaching everybody, just hoping to strike gold. I was kind of intentional, but I could have been more intentional. And as I started to get better with approaching and having more experience, having more fun, having more dates, hooking up more, that I started to really look at that type of girl head on. I started to be like, okay, I'm avoiding this kind of girl because there's some kind of fear that's going on. 
and it's very similar to guys when we get on the calls with them they are scared to admit that they want what they want maybe society shames them for wanting what they want maybe they grew up in a religious family and they feel like they shouldn't have what they want maybe they feel just bad overall for for wanting that and we see it all the time you know and that's how i used to feel around these girls specifically i was just like i can't have these girls because x y and z so the more i went on approach the better i got at it i was like i should be looking specifically for the girls that i want because I'd be more satisfied when I actually got a number or when we actually got a date or when we actually hooked up. And so I started to look at it and it was very difficult to look at because all my stories around this type of girl would come up and there were always very heavy emotions around it. And so I just kept looking at it. I kept looking at it until when I saw them out and about, I would actually start to go and approach them. And yeah, I got rejected a little bit because when I get in front of those girls specifically, my nerves get bad, I start shaking way more than I would with the average girl. <laughs> so putting myself in that environment more and more and more and starting to relax and ground myself better in those environments like we teach you guys, I started to get dates with those girls. Actually, my girlfriend's, my girlfriend right now is one of those girls uh, as a result of doing that. So I say all that to say that we're not really being honest about what it is that we want. And that's part of the reason we're not getting what we want. So I kind of want to remind you guys that one, you can have what it is that you want, but also two, I want you guys to start looking at what it actually is that you want. Maybe your type is the girl next door. Maybe she's just a bombshell, right? Maybe she's a stunner and you're just as scared to admit that you want that because a part of you doesn't feel like you can have it. And when you look at it, you have to feel all your stories about yourself, all your lack, all your limitations stories about yourself that don't feel good in order for you to overcome it. But I'm here to tell you that when you start to do that, you start to break free of your stories around it. And even more so when you start taking action on talking to those kind of girls. And I guarantee you it gets easier and it gets easier and it gets easier and to the point you were wondering why you weren't even approaching those girls in the first place. So, short video, but I just want to remind you guys that your belief systems are part of what's holding you guys back. And it's 2022, we just got into 2022. What better way to start a year than to actually start it with getting what you want? Because that'll set the tone of the rest of the year for you. Now, stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna offer you guys something um, that'll help you on your journey get to where you want to go if you're willing to admit to yourself that you know what you want pleasure shooting this video for you i'll see you guys next friday and remember only the confident really live peace thanks for staying to the end of the video i want to talk to some guys who are really looking to shift this part of their lives i want to talk to you guys personally i want to get on the phone with you guys i want to learn more about you where you are how'd you get to where you are what do you actually want and what's stopping you from getting what you want, especially in your dating lives. Let's come up with a plan to help you getting what you want. It's not as hard as it seems. It's only hard because you actually haven't put yourself out there to do the work. And the minute you start to actually do it, you start to transform into this guy who's attracting more women. You start having more women than you know to do it. You start having more sexual experiences. You start to have a lot of one-off experiences that you never thought you would have the more confident you become, the more you start speaking your truth, the more you start owning who you are. And I wanna be a part of that journey with you. So check it out. My email's on the screen, reach out to me. Let's hop on a call, let's talk, let's figure out where you are, but let's figure out where you wanna go, all right? Because you guys can have anything that you want. When I first came through the doors at Fearless, I didn't fully believe that I could have what I wanted until I got what I wanted. And even then, I was like, what the hell just happened? That wasn't real, there's no way that could have happened. Something's going on here. It was a fluke, right? And then it started to happen over and over and over again because what was changing was internal. The emotions were changing. The way I was showing up, the way I was showing up around people. I wasn't closed off anymore. I was open, I was more confident, I was more social, I was more free. And that's what got me what I wanted. And I wanna extend that to you guys who might feel like you're in a position where you, you don't have the dating life that you want. You're not having the sexual experiences that you want. You guys are not dating the girls that you want. You guys, maybe you guys are looking for a girlfriend and you guys haven't found the right one. 
I want to help you guys. There's ways to do that. <laughs> and that's what we teach and we do it all the time. So anyways, guys, go ahead and uh, shoot me an email. Let's schedule a call. And let's figure out how to get you where you want to get to. Anthony signing off with Fearless.